Oh. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh we're live on, on that on. one. Hold on. Hello. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. My phone does look like a little peanut compared live. to yours. Live. There. Okay, now it should go. Okay. I, I pushed that button last time. Yes. You're now live. Thank you. It's hey. Okay. Gorgeous Daisy here. Grace is here. We got Daisy and we have Caroline. My, my girlfriend Frankie gave me this as a as a party favor at her birthday party, Whoa. which was a cooking party. And it's just so cute. Yes. I can't yes. it. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I wish it said summers.com on it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, but anyway, we are cooking today. We have so many delicious, wonderful things. Of course, we're using the Infusio olive oils and balsamics. We do have a promo code right off the bat. Are you this way or this way? Um, this one? That one works on okay. both. That one works oh, on both. Okay. Yeah. It is. The yeah. promo code for the whole weekend is 25% off olive 25. Oh. That's our promo code. I love that. Yeah. So, <laughs> anything that's not already discounted more than 25%. So, I've made a little feast for Bruce and Daisy, and we have many more things to make. So, Yum. so here's what's happening. I'm just going to give you an overview, and then we'll make all of it. These are some watermelon down here, sweetie. Okay. I know. They, they, oh. People are saying, are you miked? Oh, I'm sorry. It's because the phones get turned around and then it's hard mm. to do. But I don't know what I don't know what to do about it, or else you can't see what you're doing. Stupid iPhones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can speak more softly, and I will speak more loudly. Stupid iPhones. <laughs> These are watermelon and feta skewers. Oh, look with at fresh those. Mint. So that's going to be our little appetizer. I am making a grilled peach and ricotta crostini. Oh. That's what we're going to make next. I am making stuffed figs with the most ridiculous gorgonzola. Whoa. That's a crazy cheese. It's ridiculous. I mean, yeah. it needs nothing else but a spoon. They just Literally. call it cucchiaio in Italy, which just means spoon, spoon. cheese. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to make a killer burrata and tomato sandwich. Wow. And I have some uh, glazed carrots and radicchio in the oven. So that sounds that I say. Yeah. molto like, bene. Yeah. Okay. I walk so, in here and I'm just like, <laughs> this is what we're starting with. I, I've already cut these peaches. If you want to see like a really great mm. peach pitting hack, you can look at my story after this is over at carolinesummers.com. Um, I mean, sorry, at Caroline Summers on Instagram. We're getting so no, already a lot of questions on how do I get the book? Where do I get the oh, book? Oh, oh. Well, what? Daisy, what? Can you my hand model? What? There it is. You've been served. And this one's for you. <gasps> it is Aww. for you and your mom. <laughs> <laughs> dreams do come true. This is so awesome. I honestly think this is so awesome. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> Everybody needs this. So this is available at carolinesummers.com. The link is right there. It gets printed and shipped to you right from the publisher. So I'm sorry, I, I can sign Daisy and Leslie's book, but I can't sign your books. Sorry. A few of you have asked, but it gets sent right from the publisher. A lot of you, I think, received the book today. Um, what? Yeah, I had a few people DM me and say, I got served, I am been served. Oh my God, so um, good. So this is, this is the book and Bunny, look, who's that? It's Mama. <laughs> uh, and, oh, and Bruce, you know what? Yes. I'm actually making this for you tonight. Wow. These Whoa. are the stuffed zucchini blossoms. They had them at Italy. So, Bunny, what? What, what is it? What is um, it, Bunny? So, anyway, this is filled with glorious pictures that my husband Bruce and his partner Mark shot, and a lot of love. And yeah, you know, these are my family recipes. The first fifty. So um, if you want that, you can get that on my website. But today, we're talking about... That's oh, mine. Well, that's yours. Sorry. This one's mm -hmm. mine. Okay, so we are going to grill these peaches. Bruce, if you want to come over here with me. Oh. Um, and Daisy, you I'm can gonna keep hide my eye on these for me. So this is a, a grill pan that Suzanne has. 
Suzanne got me that I love because I just don't, I don't have an indoor grill anymore. And it's a nice way to just get grill marks on something without the full go outside, take the cover off, you know. Okay. So Want me to do the rest of this? Yeah. And then. Got a shout out on Wellis from Latte Lover, too. Nice. Latte Lover has two. Thank you, Latte oh, Lover. Okay. And I'm a, ca I'm a cappuccino well. lover. I'm an iced Americano girl. <laughs> okay, so Daisy, those are just um, going to get a quick flip. Again, I put the basil, I put the infusio basil olive oil and just a little salt. We'll give those a little... How long? Like a minute? Or no? Yeah, you're just going to get charred a little. Just Because you want them to be warmed. So... so 20, 20 baby girl is asking, is this channel no longer Suzanne and Al's? I think we need a little explanation about where my mom yeah. is. Um, I'll let you do the explanation while I... Sure. This, uh, so we're just filling know? in. My mom's recovering from... Uh, she's been... She had a... She broke her neck, for starters, and then she is uh, recovering from... Little bit of an illness, and uh, we're sending her love and support, but she needs this time right now. So, yes, it is Suzanne and Al's. We're filling in, we're doing the best we can. Oh, this is good turning here. Good turning. Yeah, I'm pretty good at turning, yeah. I could say. Nice, those are like peach steaks. Wait, now I'm, I'm gonna use turn. some focaccia for this actually instead of crispy. There's no swearing on this show. I'm going to put this in the oven. And just well, focaccia. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, Bruce, come on over here. Up, oh, yep. This is how I'm going to serve this deconstructed. I'm gonna put a little of this basil olive oil. This is just a beautiful, fresh ricotta cheese, which is, I can just eat it by the spoonful. This is the vanilla fig. So what I'm gonna do, now that these are grilled, I'm just gonna glaze a little bit on top of this while they're hot. And then Daisy, if you have that same dish that you took them out of, we can put them right back in after 100%. Ready, Bruce? Here comes your close-up. Uh, I wish I had slow-mo. It's already slow-mo because the, the balsamics are... Uh. There, it's, it's more like a glaze. It is so thick and syrupy. And it's already so reduced. You really don't need to reduce it. So I'm gonna give that like, just give it like 30 seconds. Okay, okay and then Bruce, I'm just gonna put a little extra of this vanilla fig. Right extra, here. extra. <laughs> I'm gonna put that right on top of this. And the vanilla fig is definitely one of my favorites. I think it should have a little bit of a basil varnish. And once again, who are you? <laughs> oh, wait. You're Caroline. <laughs> okay, and then the salt and pepper. Season You every, have to say it like Patrick Stewart. Layer. How does Patrick Stewart say it? I, I don't know. Salt and pepper <laughs> for you, Saturday Night Live fans. I'm also going to chop a little. Are those coming off, Dave? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to also chop a little of this basil. It's stacked. I'm rolling. I'm sorry. I was really planning on cleaning up my nails before the show. That did not yep. happen. There's a lot of comments. Oh, look at those nails. Oh, that's bad, but it's okay. No, everyone is actually sending you a lot of love, saying you're doing a great job okay. filling in for mom. Great, thank you. Okay, okay. so, all right. Are served. Oh, perfect. Okay, yes. so here's served. what we're going to do. <laughs> here's what we're going to do is we're going to get this focaccia out of here. Shut the front door. Focaccia. Ooh, oh, focaccia's a bitch. I, I love that mitt. <laughs> My primarily gave this to me. There it is. So good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, here's my focaccia. And now we're going to come over here, Bruce. And 
Bruce, what is Daisy's music name, please? Oh, Daisy. Daisy World. Daisy World. She's a great <laughs> song out. It's poppin'. It is poppin'. It's called You're Soggy. You are soggy. You're soggy. <laughs> Okay. Should we trade filming so that you can eat this bad boy? It, in a minute, well, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Daisy, you can have some on a gluten-free cracker also. Yes, oh. I will. I'll build one. I'm going to build you a little Bruce. Elizabeth, no reason to be intimidated. You can do this. Okay. You can do it. Here we go. That's true. Pe Pedro agrees. All right. Lots Here of reference. Go. Lots of We're tangential right. references today. <laughs> I feel like I'm like gathering okay. all the information. Um, <laughs> can you give me those tongs? These ones? Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to make this for Bruce here. This is just the rustic way to do it. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love how it's Bruce. Oh. Are you with me? I can't tell. Yeah, sorry. I'm reading comments and... Gosh, I'm like, it's the, it's the moment of truth here. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yum. Yeah, this. That looks this unreal. Is, yeah. Tasty. We need some peach emojis, people. Peach emojis. Yeah, good idea. Okay. It feels like it just wants a little more vanilla fig, if I'm being real. Yes, focaccia is a type of Italian bread, Carol. It has a lot of air bubbles in it. I wanted to make focaccia today, but it's a two-day rise on the dough and and who's got time to rise their well, dough? well i just felt like it was not us no i just felt like it was a little like most of the prep you can't see live okay yum ready ready, ready? Oh, okay oh this is okay come back over here the okay line. wait i want to can i stand next to caroline <laughs> okay have a bite baby <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Got a lot He's of peach so emojis. I did not eat today. Mmm. <gasps> Napkin. Napkin. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. So That's good. Insane. It looks so good. What's amazing is that any one of these ingredients mm -hmm. is amazing on its own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you put them all together. For this oh, ambrosial that's, that's really delight. Good. That's good. Thanks for helping me today, both of you. <laughs> of okay, course. Um, Daisy, I think we should make you one on a cracker, or I could just make it on a peach, or I also put out some Whoa. arugula. Whoa. You follow you. your heart. You know that I'll eat literally anything okay, you put in front of me. Make a little one on an arugula? Yeah, I would love that. Okay. All right, so this is how you turn it gluten free because not everyone wants those carbs or they want them but they they want them real them. bad but they can't yeah bruce would you get a little fork for daisy okay, yeah so tiny fork smallest fork you can find we want to just get every layer seasoned here okay because that's what makes it yeah. a tiny fork. no that's literally what i want <laughs> oh, that's perfect. okay now we're going to come over here and we're going to make one for this Daisy. is how Daisy's. in food photography you make the plate look really large look how giant that bowl is <laughs> yeah literally those okay. peaches are enormous oh my god so now guys i'm the luckiest yes. girl in the world yeah aren't i salad. caroline just texted me come over food <laughs> and i'm like <laughs> running over okay. whoa whoa a little topper the, I always like to end with the good salt and... Of course. And the vanilla and fig The crack. vanilla fig <laughs> infusio is ridiculous. Ooh, okay, look at so that. There she is. That's beautiful. All right. Switching. Look at this. Switching. Oh, so switching. Also, my great turn. appetizer idea to serve the yeah. tiny standing salads is this really is cute. Yum. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make myself the perfect bite. A it's bit ricotta of cheese, Karen. Ricotta cheese, a whole peach, a little bit of salad. Look at that. Oh my gosh, mouth-watering. Susie loves mm. imperfections. <laughs> yeah, that's this. This might even be better than with the bread. Yeah, no, I'm it's insane. Say. It's I'm insane. It's so good, and it has like 
Things are hot. Things are cold. The warm, the you warm could... peach with the cheese kind mm. of just creates a little. It's almost like a dessert. Mm. And you got a you got a shout out for your gorgeous smile, Days. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I do have a big old mouth done. <laughs> it's the big old mouth it's family. Huge teeth, yeah. <laughs> Do you know that um, I have TMJ, so I have to sleep with a night 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 guard. You know, really? yeah. So TMI, I know. But TMI when TMJ. they when they fit me, mm. he had to go into like his Fred Flintstone closet, and stuff was falling on him, and he mm -hmm. comes out with this old metal tray. Like that's huge. And he said, I have never used this. You have the biggest mouth no, I've right. ever worked on. Wait, okay, so when I went to the dentist when I was eight years old, I remember, and I used to brag about this to my friends, they told me that I had the teeth of a 12-year-old when I was eight. And I was always like, yeah, guys, like, yeah. sorry, I'm so mature, I'm so grown. Exactly. At 12, I can already drive now because yeah, I have the teeth of a 16-year-old. I'm going to keep eating this Yes. Keep eating. I'm gonna make you something else, which this is so I, good. I'm, it might make you cry. This one. Okay. Oh. I, beautiful figs are in season. Figs. So here's what. I don't think that one's quite right enough. I want a nice. Wait. Like I need it. to reiterate <clears throat> once more that this is one of the yummiest things I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean this. So these oils and vinegars oh. literally make you. It make it seem like you are an incredible chef. Completely. Good yeah. ingredients is the key to all things. Yes. Okay. So. And I know a lot of people know this, but you know, the shape of, of your tomato is like the shape of your heart, your inner heart, and it's mm. really good for your heart. And the shape of your figs mm -hmm. is like the shape of genitalia. It's actually good for reproduction. Well, I heard that, yeah. and also walnuts, good for the brain. Yep, yeah, exactly. Okay, so here's what's happening with this gorgeous fig. I don't know what eggplant's good for. The <laughs> <laughs> you're killing it today. Okay. This cheese. I'm going to cry when I eat that cheese. I don't know. I, I mean, could you it's... just hand me a little focaccia? Cause yeah. I just need to have one little bite. Just a, just a bite. Yep. Really? What this cheese wants is just this. Yeah. I mean, oh my that's... God. I mean, this is... It's when we're in Italy, this is sometimes just dinner. Of yeah. course. That's the perfect dinner. Mm. God. Oh. It's ridiculous. Okay. Shut the front door. I know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this ridiculous cheese into this fig. Okay. Then what's going to happen... What? I'm going to wrap oh. it in prosciutto. <gasps> wow. You really figured it out. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> I don't know even how your brain works this way. It's you don't it, want it, kind it to. It only works this way. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, you ready? This is going to become the protective little blankie. Oh. For the fig. Oh. And it's going to get wrapped up like this. Okay, Daisy, yes. will you go wow. turn that um, grill pan, pan on? on? Yeah. You might need the lighter, which is in here. Sometimes my... No, my house is the same way. Yeah. You know what? I think we should do it in the other pan, because that balsamic is going to burn. Okay, good night. It needs to, it needs to cook in just a little... Uh, spell the name of the cheese, please. It's it's gorgonzola. It's go gorgonzola. Uh, I put it on my story. Cremo. Yeah, in Italy they just call it gorgonzola cucchiaio, which it means spoon. It means gorgonzola of the spoon. But here, um, okay, I got cremificato. Cremificato Gufanti. That sounds like a cool I name. found it at Italy. Cremificato Gufanti. It sounds like... It sounds like a cool name. It's yeah, like exactly. Charles. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gufanti is the, is the middle name. Yeah, of course. So when, when he's in trouble... Yeah, say the um, cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgonzola Cremificato <laughs> yeah. Gufanti. Gorgonzola. Cre cremificanti? What is it? <laughs> Gorgonzola. Yeah, gremificato. Gremificato. Gofanti Hamelbuka. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. That was a powerful.
person. Exactly. It's like those Spanish names that are like six and seven names. Yes, literally. That's so beautiful, Caroline. Yes, it's a type of blue cheese. It's a, yeah, gorgonzola is a blue. Mm. I've never seen a cheese look like that. You really just, we're going to want to get in here. I yeah. mean, this would also just be great like this. But uh. I have a feeling if we just toast her up a little. Yeah, it's going to be delicious. Today, yes, the bread is from Italy, right? Yes, I, I, I did the whole shop at Italy. Yep. Was not near a farmer's market day here, so. Should we give a little reminder about this? Sure. Yes. Okay. Here Olive. is the code. Olive 25. Olive 25. Ooh. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go in with, um, I'm about to use the basil again. You, you could just use plain olive oil for this, but I'm just going to use just a tiny little bit. Okay, get that hot. Ah, uh, Sharon, you're breaking my heart. She's not a fan of blue cheese. <gasps> That's cool. She had to, she, you had an LOL, so it's all in good jest. I used to get so, made fun of a lot for eating blue cheese when I would bring a blue cheese sandwich to lunch and all my friends would make uh, fun of me. Oh, yeah. 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 Violet, um, when she was a baby, she used to sit in the cart and she used to nibble on chunks of blue cheese. Yeah. I feel like yeah. we all were, just grew up yeah. eating very adventurous foods for children. Yeah. yeah. Like I used to eat sardines all the time. What kind of deans? Sardines. <laughs> Sardines. Sardines. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, that's just going to heat up just a little. It's not going to need a lot. That's unbelievable. And and then it is also getting the vanilla fig. Because vanilla fig, is kind of, she's kind of our star today. Um, um, uh, who is this? Jeannie had a good hack. If you don't like blue cheese, you can substitute feta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I would probably use... Because um, I have lots of friends who like blue cheese is just a little too pungent. Yeah. Goat cheese would also work in this. Ricotta would work in this. Um, feta doesn't get really melty, so... Yeah. Um, do you want these tongs? Yeah. Love and tong, oh, tong with so. that. <laughs> okay, so it's just going to get a quick, do you see how that prosciutto just Yeah, it really does work up. as a blanket. Francesca Bosco said, we ate sardines for, as children in Sicily. Wait, maybe that's why I like sardines. Yeah. yeah. My ancestors coming through. Exactly. You uh, and yeah. Francesca Bosco. Yeah. <laughs> My mom always like tells the story about how one time we went to the market to have dinner and she was like, what do you want for dinner? And I said, what do rock stars eat? <laughs> and she said, rock stars eat whatever they want. And I said, okay, I want a tin of sardines and a whole baguette. And that's, what you're that's, my, that's my rock star. Dinner. There you go. <laughs> I love it. When we were on our catamaran trip last year, mm -hmm. Sardines were the um, anti-nausea. Oh, it was an anchovy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anchovy. Little, little if, you got, if you got parts, if you got seasick. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Anchovy on a cracker. Because it's so salty? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It's, it's, this is beautiful, Carolyn. It's the power of the Italian spirit. Yeah, absolutely. Like when I was in France, my whole Italian family would just like any issue you had, it would just be whiskey for whatever it was. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my mom used to give you Pernod. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like we, we were teething. Yeah. Yep. We, were in, we were in the south of France with three little babies. Yeah. And totally we practical. Were teething, yeah. And she would just rub a little on your gums mm -hmm. and calm down. Okay. Well, um, that's good to know. Okay. This is unreal. I, do you like Pernod? I don't even know. Okay. You should try it. I, I wonder. Try it. Yeah. I feel like a bad sense memory like yeah, the yeah the teething pain. exactly but it'd be an interesting experiment yeah, day. <laughs> Bruce, ready? i'm so ready Daisy, will you just move this for me this ham Clear the shot. yes <laughs> it's not ham they're little uh the little ready? fig blankets okay the vanilla fig 
is going to be our little so I make out of battery cell phones. Yeah. topper. Damn. Oh, you just need a tiny bit. That was too much. Just okay, that one's the biggest one. So you need yeah. some more love. Okay. Pelicano Elaine. Figs, figs, figs. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was a positive. Yeah, we hope so. <laughs> Trula Sager, I love sardines. They're good for you. They really are good for you. Because the uh, omega-3 is in them? Yeah. Okay, I guess I should be eating more sardines now. Yeah. The garnish is basil. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you want to do a trade so you can have a little munch? You sure. Have a bite, no, no, wait. Have okay. your bite first. You have your know. bite first. I <laughs> do see, I'm like... <laughs> Okay, that's for you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Look at this. Oh my Damn. God, that looks so beautiful. Damn. Shut the front door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's unreal. That's like, <laughs> you need to eat this right now. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy, Caroline. <laughs> that's so good. Wow. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, she just made this up. Today. I made it up in the store. Here's yeah. why. The figs looked good. I knew I you wanted right. to eat your vanilla fig today with yep. the figs. Can you just what would be good in it? it out. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah. Holy yeah, moly. that's unreal. That's unreal. No, it looks like it looks interesting. Yeah. Like a couple of bowls. There. Yeah. No, it looks like. Um, wow. <laughs> bad news from pathology, man. Yeah, I didn't didn't really get the uh, the beauty shot on that before we're eating it, but. The beauty is in the taste. Mm -hmm. It's pretty unreal. Mm. Damn. That's good. Little balls. That is good. Thank you, oh. Caroline. Okay. Little glazed carrot. Kind of, kind of feeling like we need some rosé with this. That's oh really my done. god, say less. Mm. Hello, beautiful vegetables. How are you? Welcome. Okay. Those are done. I just made a little side dish, so I'll put those together in a second. But, Daisy, um, you can have this other. I can? Yes. I'm then, going to. I also. Oh, I have. I was going to start this with the watermelon appetizer. Look at all that. Oh, yummy. But, um, okay, you eat that when Bruce, after Bruce. Bruce is course, giving us a gift. Yeah. And then. Mm, 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 mm. Do you want, would you like a glass, Caroline? Yes, please. Okay. Look at all those beautiful things. <laughs> all right. Um, don't forget we have promo code today. Olive 25 is the promo code. It lasts all weekend long on 25% off anything that's not already discounted more than 25%. So let me just look at all these beautiful, these are the Infusio olive oils. Beautiful olive oil. It is infused with these wonderful flavors. We have Meyer lemon, Tuscan herb, which is garlic, basil, and rosemary. Mm. We have the basil oil. The Herb de Provence, which has some lavender and tarragon. It's really nice. The Blood Orange, very subtle and beautiful. The Vanilla Fig, she's our star today. Traditional, which is, I would say plain, but that's so underrepresents it. The Pomegranate, which is, I think if I had to pick a personal favorite, mm. if, you, if you forced me, I would pick the Pomegranate. But I also really love the black cherry, but God, I love the vanilla. I, it's hard to decide. You don't need to um, decide. That's the beauty of it. Right. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Um, so these are, Suzanne found these products. She has the greatest palette of anyone I've ever met. She's the most spectacular cook. And she uh, said, oh my God, I found the most amazing olive oils and balsamics. Cheers. Rosé. Cheers. It's Friday. Okay, so... Let me Someone say. said Alan likes to chug the black cherry out of the bottle. And I'm like, yeah. that is, that's, that's the most so Zeta wild. thing I've ever heard. 200, 200. He loves to, like, force you to drink things out of... Like, he always wants you to drink the, um, the maple syrup out of the bottle. 
Um, yes, he, well, he, he, he gets excited about those things. Yeah, we're all foodies in this family. Um, Everyone is saying that pomegranate is their fave. Oh, really? Yeah. And the Meyer lemon olive oil is by far the favorite. Um, Jill, are we still out of that, or is it back in stock? No. <gasps> Big mouth. Mm. Nice. Would I? <laughs> that is so good. That is so good, Caroline. It's like blowing my biscuits. Okay. Mm. Damn. All right. Next, we are going to... I think I'm going to handle these lovely vegetables. I'm, I'm going to bring them over here. Maybe. Okay, beautiful. I'm to you. Okay, so this is just a nice little side dish. A way to serve your... Mmm, tongs. Okay, so this is a beautiful radicchio. Bruce loves roasted or grilled radicchio. Yeah. Yeah. Um, radicchio is, a, it's a cabbage. It's an Italian cabbage. And then I just glazed these carrots. So all I did was put the herbs de Provence on here. So I wanted to show you how you can use this as a side dish. So now we're going to come over here and we get to pick a balsamic. I think. Hmm. I think what are the options? I think it's traditional. I would agree yeah. with you, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it just wants traditional. So it already has the, and I've already salt and peppered everything. So I'm just going to finish it with a little of this. Yummy. These carrots are gonna be amazing. Yeah, okay. that's gonna be unreal. All right, so who's Bruce? jealous of me right now that I get to be <laughs> eating this? Before I destroy this, will you just take a picture? Okay. Um, okay, so this is this beautiful side dish that we also have. You okay? Uh, yeah, my prescription order for my oh, contact lenses. You scared me. That's a, you had a concerned face on. Well, that's okay. concerning. I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make this a beauty plate. Wait, that's awesome. Yeah. Where do those little tongs go? I feel like they're so necessary. I put them in that sink, but I, I have more. Don't worry. Okay, I'll make this. Look at this after. gorgeous display that Caroline this. has made. Sure. And and then I'm gonna feed you guys these cute little watermelon skewers. It was my OCD project for the afternoon. Yeah, and they look unreal. Wow. Hi, Moon. Okay. Hi, Mama. Here, you start this time. Okay. I am going to grab my fingers because that's the kind of girl I am. I also just like love roasted carrots in general. Roasted carrots. Mm. Oh, it's easy. so good. Super easy. Yeah. That's a really but it's easy. so good with this. It is. Mm. How long did you cook this for? Wow. 30 minutes? Daisy gave me a low battery. Oh, uh, we need a... we need the the long the long fella. No, we need a long one. There's no one on the stage. My phone is really old, so it runs out of battery so fast. Oh yeah, well because they're about to have a new one, so <laughs> exactly. Hey. I need the thing that just plugs in the brick. Where is it? I'll go grab it. Do you have one, Bruce? Um. I don't have one in my pocket, no. Oh, will it fit here? It will. Yes. There we go. Okay, Hugo. Okay. Hugo. Hugo. Oh, there you go. There we did it. Okay. Okay, next time I'm going to have such a charred phone, you okay. won't even be able to see <laughs> it. All right, the next thing that I'm going to make you is this cute-ass little watermelon skewer. That is cute. 
Look at wow. this. So you're probably thinking, who the heck would spend that much time making a little watermelon skewer exactly appetizer? Caroline. <laughs> Caroline would. <laughs> well, here's how, it, here's how it began. A lot of you have seen me make a watermelon Napoleon. I've made it on Facebook Lives before. And it's, mm. I take pieces of watermelon that are about this big, and then I layer it with ricotta cheese and basil. And then I let that get like two or three high. And then I drizzle it with the basil olive oil. And I think I use the pomegranate balsamic on it. And it's delicious and it's a total showstopper. But I thought well, I want to do something a little different today. So that's why I made these little individual skewers. These have watermelon, marinated red onion, feta cheese, and fresh mint. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to show you how I made them, but obviously I couldn't make the whole thing on camera. We would have been here all day. Um, okay. So you get yourself a little skewer cubing the watermelon, obviously in a precise way. I did it on my story. So if you follow me on Instagram, it's at Caroline Summers or I love Facebook. watching your stories. Yeah. Speak, um, or on Facebook, it's at Caroline Summers served. So then you just thread these on here, these little mint leaves, little chunks of feta. Watermelon skewer, hi. Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay, and then these um, onions, I just marinated in lime juice and then they turn mm. this really pretty pink color. And it also just softens the flavor like the of it. acidity of yeah, it. Because, yeah, because, oops. I, I love adding these to any salad. Yeah, or sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but a, a raw red onion can be pretty... Um, awesome. Well, they're good, but... <laughs> so it's going to be intense. Yeah, they're pretty intense. Yeah. I, but, I noticed, like, I'm... Okay, as I go. age, so I'm I, less tolerant of red onion, of, oh, really? like, raw onions. Whoa. And I used to put them on everything. Yeah, I love raw onion. Yeah. In my music video, I, there's a part where I'm, like, ferociously peeling a raw onion, and then I just take a bite out. Oh. I, I always wanted to do that in my life. I, I, I like the message behind it. I fold that red onion into a little ribbon, and then I just snip the edge off. Genius. What? So then we're going to go in again. Uh, so, so when you're having an OCD attack, make watermelon skewers. Yeah, literally. Well, and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't and really everything. get my, my rhythm down on the first two, and then I really wanted to go back and Did you undo them? them. I didn't. I, I, I was proud of myself. Wow. I didn't. Wow, Plastic. I would have. I I you would have. I would have. Yeah. Yeah. Eaten them I just had too many other things. I'm that person that when I reassemble something okay. and there's one screw, yeah, I undo the whole thing to figure yeah. out where that no. screw was supposed to go. <laughs> 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 okay, and then I just. So um, the shoes. oils, people are asking, where do I get these oils and these vinegars? Um, SuzanneSummers.com. Where? Everything is available at SuzanneSummers.com. And what? there's a discount. What? Yeah, don't forget the discount code. They last a long yeah. time. They are expensive. These are really high-end, beautiful oils and vinegars. So, you know, they're, they're expensive. But, yeah. Um, Olive 25. I love it. Okay, so this is our little skewer. And now... What we're going to do? Does Caroline yeah. knit or crochet? No, I don't. That's that's my the end. My sister does. Yep. That's kind of cool. My sister does. Yeah. She's really good. Okay, so that's how that was our little project. Up, so, up, up. Can you undo me here? Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. Okay. All <laughs> right. So now I'm going to put a little olive oil and balsamic on this. Yum. <laughs> Right? I mean, it just feels right? like it wants the basil again. Yeah. Oh, I guess I could go Meyer lemon. She's out. She's out of stock, though. I'm going to go basil. No. Do you need it? You could also go pomegranate on it. Well, that's the vinegar. That's the vinegar, dummy. The, that's the balsamic. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil on this. Oh. My dad and I used to love eating watermelon with salt on it. Oh. Yes. I, it's a thing. Maybe that's a thing of fathers and daughters. I have an incredible Mediterranean thing. fathers yeah, and that's daughters. True. Yeah, me and my I have like one of my favorite photos of me and my dad is like we're sitting in France at the dinner table, just like eating watermelon in such an intense way. I love that. So I actually have to put a stop to something that's going on. Suzanne is not in the hospital. Everyone's saying there's there's some 
It was a whole side thing. My mom is at oh, home. No, she's not in the hospital. She's, yeah. she's, um, she's hopefully making her way to a really great rehabilitation center that's going to help her with some of the uh, physical problems that she's been having. She's got a lot of pain in her neck and shoulder and arm, as she shared with you guys when she was on. So um, they, they just feel like they need more intense physical therapy. So they're actually looking at a facility to, um, to address that. So, okay, this is the pomegranate balsamic. We are going out there on Sunday again to see them. So I gave her the biggest hug from all of you. She was very happy. Oh, it was the sweetest moment. So cute. Not Swedish, okay. sweetest. Now this, you really don't want a lot. <laughs> you just want oh my God. a little. Wow. This is that steady hand. You have to get the doctors in your family to pour this. Yeah, yeah literally. Wow. But you don't want to, you know, after all that beautiful creation. Yeah, it's true. Right. You don't want to go in and so just you need a little dropper bottle. Oh, a dropper bottle would be great idea. See, I need like a toolkit, like a real chef. Yeah. Ooh. Tweezers and. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Okay. And, and then we just, it, the feta has quite a bit of salt in it, but we do want to kiss it with just a little, yeah. a little kiss, a little salt, and a little, what am I going to say, Bruce? Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually doing that for Anita O'Hara. Anita O'Hara will get that joke every time. Okay, Daisy, take this one. Here I come. Yeah. This one? Yeah, come over here in the light. Join me in the light. Yes. Watermelon skewer. Hi. Like, I don't want Watermelon skewer. Hi. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I could get you a napkin, but that would be so civilized of me. Damn. Mm. What? I bet I've never had these flavors together before. It's a it's a common Greek combination, mm. watermelon and feta and mint. Mm. Da -da 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 Yes. Here I come. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna take a picture of it before you. Oh, here, I'll take a picture. Do that. Okay. So I know how to take. I, whoa, I've whoa, used a phone whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm just gonna put it back over in front of the. There you go. Display over here, so you can get it. This is where you guys, you guys see us do the food styling. The uh, clean up that plate. And it needs a fresh garnish because of my mint. Mm. Okay, let me just pick some fresh mint up here. I want to, uh, I want to do it from Mmm, it's a little sleeping. Yeah, then uh, Thank you. For the... Little garnish. Yeah. Little garnish never hurt anybody. Exactly. That's also, could be a name. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, yeah. little garnish. <laughs> That's good. Be a good dog name. Little garnish. Little garnish. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Especially if it's your second dog. Yeah. What's the first dog named? <laughs> Pork chop. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. And it's also good when you get the. the that looks oil beautiful. It, you so. guys. Yes, we've gone over this, Caroline. Caroline, when I was shooting for Caroline's cookbook, I was doing the super close up. She goes, we're never going to use that. I just come, pulled back. I don't have time. For I that. was come wrong. I, I was wrong. Wow. 100% <laughs> wrong. This man shot so many gorgeous, very close pictures. And those were the ones I wanted to use in the cookbook. You know why? Because it's like, I'm going to show you just a couple. It like, you want to stick your finger right in. Mm. It's exactly what Suzanne said when I, when I showed her the book. She went, she did that. Like, like you want to stick your finger in there. Holy yeah. F. That one is Mark. That one is Mark. That is an unbelievable yeah. picture. Oh, I feel like I'm in there. Yeah. Like it makes me want to become a little peanut and just <laughs> slide on in. So good. And that's it's my partner, Mark, who gave me the close-up camera because yeah. that's, 
That's like kind mm-hmm. of the easier one to use. Mm. So yeah. He's very so generous. This is what I'm going to make for Bruce tonight. So, so if beautiful. If you want to watch, it will be on my Instagram at Caroline Summers, which also feeds through to my Facebook at Caroline Summers. This mm. is what we're making. Are the stuffed zucchini hug. flowers? Little hug. And I do give <gasps> you Whoa, this, this is nice awesome. little tutorial so you see how you stuff it, how you fold it. You Wait, that's so egg, cool. You dredge it in the flour. You fry it up in a pan, and then you serve it with cherry tomatoes. It's so delicious. I'm so happy that I have my book. Yeah. Bruce, that's so pretty. Look how talented my husband is. Oh my God, that's on. You just took that now. Yeah. What? Yeah, perfect. That's, <laughs> that's what you wanted, right? Yes. Yeah, there you go. We're a good team. We are a good team. So, um, okay, I'm gonna. I am going to make one quick sandwich because what? I have sandwich. everything to make a great sandwich. Yeah, you really do. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, okay, give me two minutes. Just warm this up. Of course. Needs a little... You take your time. Yeah, two minutes. Look at Did all everyone get those the oils. These are... Going... For tomorrow night? What? It's only... It's like 350 million. Which, oh, you know, at the end of the day is only about $175 million after taxes. Yeah, just that small amount. Yeah, so, not worth it. <laughs> yeah, nobody get one. <laughs> I hope everyone wins that's watching. Okay. You can all, these are also just amazing to make dips. Mm. Just put the olive oil and the balsamic in here. You can use a little of the Infusio sea salt rubs. And then just dip the bread. And then put some cheese out, like... That's one of my favorite ways to use these oils and vinegars. Um, okay, so this is uh, oh, burrata. You burrata the big guns. Okay. So this is. Did you just come up with those on the spot? That one, yeah. This yeah. Never cheese said that is literally. I've never said that before. It's taken over the world. Um, when we were in France earlier this summer, Literally every menu, right? What? Burrata. Well, burrata okay. is yeah. the thing. Burrata is the yummiest thing on this earth. It's, it yeah. is delicious. Which so, is interesting because it's Italian. Well, the French know we how to make it too. Mm. So. Yeah. Okay, so mm. here's the beautiful Look at that. Oh, it looks yeah. like a beautiful toy. Yeah. And. Don't you just want to grab it? Yeah, I and I just want to. got some tapenade, which is a black olive. Uh, puree. I also have some basil pesto, which is delicious as a spread. I am going to, I also have some Calabrian chilies, mm. but I feel like I want to do the black cherry balsamic on this. So I have to decide here because I don't think the olive and the chili is going to go with the cherry. Do you, Bruce? The, not the chili. I felt like this is one sandwich. Yes. And this is another sandwich. Yeah, yeah. And so, people, this is really hot. Yeah, this is like, the Calabrian chili. Spicy. Fire come out of your sphincter. Yeah, so I will make oh, no. that as a separate bite for you. Okay. But what I'm going to make here today is this beautiful heirloom tomato that I sliced. It looks like it's going to be unreal. The pesto, we can put a little <clears throat> arugula on there. It's a this is a vegetarian sandwich, and. The oil is going to be... It's vegetarian until you wrap it in a prosciutto blanket. Yeah. I, I'm going to use <laughs> the Herbes de Provence oil and the... I mean, I really want to use the basil again because it's just what I'm feeling today, but I'm not going to. Hello, Brad. The Tony basil. Okay. I'm going to use a serrated knife and I'm going to cut this nice baguette in half. I also bought some ciabatta, but it's so big. I'm going to make this here so that there's no waste. So you can be one of those people who digs a little of your dough Uh out the middle. And then you can dip it in the oil. Yeah. (laughs) There you go. Or you can put a little pesto on it. While you're doing that, yep. it, just, it just wants to heat up just a thread. Exactly. Hair longer, and it's going to be mm. that much better. I, of course, do have a ton of prosciutto. I don't hate that. That I can, I can use here. So the burrata comes in water, so just drain that out. And now we're going to start building. Of course, I have my salt and pepper ready. 
I have, oh, I was going to use the black chair. I have the, oh, well, it's pomegranate. Oh, it's, here she is. Okay. Black cherry. Herbs de Provence. All of these cheeses, like the ricotta and the burrata, they, they're really much better when you add the salt and pepper. Mm -hmm, of course. Um, and then... Okay. Switch and you can eat some. Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay, so I am going to put the oil on the bread. Oh, it's like a little oil trough. I'm going to... I'm oh, going to drizzle. Yes. Yeah. I need some more prosciutto. Is that okay? Of course. Yeah. yeah. It's called we now call them prosciutto blankets. Prosciutto blankets. Sorry. <laughs> mm. Okay. Now we're going to spread. Fill the trough. Egg. Yum. Well, it's, it's not to fill with pesto. It's to fill with everything. So mm. I can't be greedy on that. And what'd you learn about sandwiches from Mary Sue? Oh, yes, um, from Susan Feniger. Oh, Susan Feniger. That every, you have to get every ingredient all the way to the edge because she yeah. would always say the center bite is the most delicious bite. So make every bite taste that good. Wait, I love it's that. It's a very good tip. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with these glorious tomatoes. Nice. Okay. Here comes the Edith Echeverria, which by the way is a beautiful name, is asking about oil samples. You have the gift samples. We do right? have a it's a gift set and um, I know we were out of one of them, and they can't find the small bottles anymore. But what? check SuzanneSummers.com and see what we have because I love that gift set. It's um, it's a way to try all of them. And Look it's a this. great That's present. Stupid. Look at this. Wow. Okay, now again, I want to season this layer with. There we go. The, There's the perfect shot. What? Yeah. That's cuckoo bones. Yeah. You're doing this to me. You make me watch this. <laughs> so I have it for you on the side. Honey. Oh my god. I have the tomatoes and the. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I'll stop complaining. <laughs> Because you know what, when you put it on bread, it's it it's it. not, yeah, yeah, it's not it's good with the bread, it. Daisy. I'm yeah, sorry right, for anyone right. who can't have bread. No, it's no, a I'm horrible. So honest, right? <laughs> okay, are you ready for this? Such a beautiful This is ridiculous. Sound effects. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh Tell me you <laughs> don't want this sandwich. Tell me uh, you are not going to impress the hell out of somebody with this sandwich. Wow. That looks unreal. It doesn't even look like okay. Debbie, you need I'm the late. What are you making? <laughs> you need this. You We're need making the good pillows salt of love. Yeah. <laughs> and that is a joke. Yeah. And then you need the pepper. I keep being like, I need Got a total, oh my God, from Francesca. Okay. And. <laughs> Do we want to do you want arugula on it? Um, I don't know. Sure. Basil. I kind of want basil on it. Okay. I mean, I have pesto. Yeah, the pesto. Put a little bit of. Arugula. <laughs> Somebody a said it looks like arugula. a banana split. Wait, it literally, it looks like ice cream. Yeah. But it's better uh, than ice cream. Yeah, there you go. Just a little. I don't want it to overpower because yeah, exactly. arugula is. Very oh, I didn't strong. catch this the first time. Tina Star Mango, Bruce. I know I'm repeating. But please tell Caroline how beautiful she is, and she looks with her hair up, and she Aww. is magic in the kitchen, and she makes it all look so simple. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. That's so nice. Thank okay. you for repeating. Okay. That's crazy. Look at this. That's an award. Oh wow. Sandwich. That's cuckoo bones. What yeah. I can't cut that. I'm just gonna. Well, I'm gonna cut it. Okay. Because it's gonna make. Don't it destroy it. Yeah. No, we're gonna take a picture. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of it before <laughs> I cut it. Yeah. Can you grab the camera and let you Absolutely, yeah, I'd love to. Okay, you can get the picture right here, Bruce, because it's so good. That's crazy. Here he goes. Look at this teamwork, you guys. Look at this incredible okay, teamwork. Yeah, the, the inside of the top isn't isn't uh, okay, then we're just ready for prime time, if you know what I'm saying. 
There See, you know. now, if I were an actual food stylist, I'd pull that tomato out. You would. Look at that, okay. the behind the scenes, you guys. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Okay, you have oh, come over here. Am I, uh, this is not gonna be a pretty shot of me. I know, but we're almost done. And you know, I have to tell them my prescription, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> really, you're not kidding, I thought you were trying to get out of it. Oh wait, me too. Um, I could, yes, sorry, I'm gonna do this but it's the original prescription. All right, so a glimpse in the light. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, you too. Bye bye. Guys, look how lucky I am. I know that I already said that so many times, but I still I'm feeling... blows me away that we can totally dick Tracy with our watches. <laughs> okay, here you go. You get that while I make do okay. this little. This is gonna be embarrassing to get my eye, my mouth. Yeah, you know, I can shake the camera. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can look down here and watch this. This is gonna be Daisy's. Oh, that's mine. Daisy, this is my. Oh my god, pesto. that pesto looks like I've never seen pesto be so beautiful. Okay. Okay. And then I feel like I'm gonna destroy this when I take a bite. Just take a bite. It's for you to destroy. I destroy it. It's okay. That's, that's the point. Just eat it. Wow. Okay, so again. Always. So it said, Caroline, the Food Network has nothing on you. Aww. I'm going to go ahead and agree with that one. <gasps> oh, my God. Look at my stunning dinner. Let's pepper her. Okay, Darius. Who knew I was going to have the best day of my life today? <laughs> so that's our show. That's <gasps> our, that is our Infusio show. Guys, this could be you. The weekend with the at SuzanneSummers.com. All of 25 is the promo code. It's good all weekend long on anything that's not already discounted more than 25%. Thanks for joining us. If you're interested in my book, this Which is CarolineSummers.com. It's brand new. People are just starting to get it today. Um, so the links are at CarolineSummers.com. You guys are the sweetest. Thanks so much. Bye, everyone. And, Monday. Oh. Um, is Monday, Monday's not Labor Day weekend, right? No, that's next week. That's the next weekend. Monday, we are here doing a, a show. Bruce is going to be with me on Monday. So <gasps> we'll be back Woo! on Monday. And I'm going to add an unboxing of the, uh, of the Wellis Air. Oh, nice. Everyone has so many questions about this. Oh, okay. incredible. Okay. Happy Okay, weekend, bye everyone. Bye.